person. I want to especially thank the young lady who sang about um, worthy of being loved. I don't know where she went, but thank you. I, uh, I struggle with a thing called self-hatred. And I'm still learning what it means to be loved, to accept love. I love myself. I'm sure I'm not the only one who struggled with that. I came to ask a question. I hear you applause. I'll give my thoughts. What do you think is the most dangerous drug in the world? I mean, the drug that causes the most suffering and the most death and the most destruction. What do you think it is? What? Alcohol. Alcohol, interesting. Okay. <laughs> What? Love, oh, interesting. It can be. I, I can tell you this. When uh, when I was growing up, the love that I was taught was very destructive. I mean, that's why I started with self-hatred, because somebody would say, I love you, and then they would hit me. That's pretty confusing. So yes, love can be very destructive. Um, Somebody can say I love you and do something really awful. It happens in families all the time. Okay, what else? What's the most destructive drug in the world causes the most suffering? Heroin. Heroin, okay. Any other thoughts? Meth, okay. They're both very destructive. Alcohol, very destructive. Any other thoughts? Narcissism. Narcissism. That's an interesting one. Yes. Only care about me, myself, and I. Yeah, that's pretty destructive. Destructive to self. I mean, if all I care about is me, I'm going to have a pretty miserable life. I do have to care about me, my, my basics, take good care of myself. But if all I care about is me, that's a lonely life. What else? Money. Whoa! I like that one. I like that one. In fact, if nobody guessed it, that was going to be the one that I gave. Yes. And we don't think of money as a drug, but it is. I've done studies on money, and money lights up little reward centers in the brain, just like a lot of the other drugs that we mentioned, heroin, and meth, and alcohol. Um, it does it by training, though. It, obviously, there's no such thing as money in and of itself. It's not in nature. It's an invented thing. In fact, really, it's a delusion. If you want to think about what money really is, it's a mass delusion that we all believe in. We all buy into this thing. In fact, I just happen to have a piece of money here. We all buy into this thing, and we think that this is, uh, at least I'll say when I was growing up, I thought this piece of paper was more important than my life. Remember we talking about love? I was taught love, some really horrible things about love. When I was growing up, um, in my family, I was taught that this piece of paper was more important than my life. We literally would destroy each other for this piece of paper called money. And I finally figured out that's all it is is a piece of paper. It has no value in and of itself. None whatsoever. Every day I see people working themselves into a grave, an early grave causing all sorts of misery in their families. And here's a big one. Let's talk about climate change and environmental destruction. 
how much environmental destruction happens because people are chasing these awful green pieces of paper, or any piece of, I mean, there's other forms of money that aren't green all over the world. A lot of money isn't paper, it's electronic signals, and electronic, uh, electrons in a memory bank somewhere in a computer. How much environmental destruction is caused by people chasing this delusion called money? So thank you, yes, money is an extremely dangerous drug. That's what I had to say, thank you very much.